have a little friend with me. Hi, Pete. No. It's a pretty cold day today, so he's very cuddly. <laughs> Welcome back to Tormented Souls. It's been a little bit since I played, but I remember I can um, go back to the room that we ended the episode in. The East Wing Hall. The room with the paintings and the ticking clock. I ran by the paintings and I was like, doesn't tell me anything, and I just walked off. But the there's one painting that is a hint for the date that we need for that clock. So I'll go back to that, start with that, and then whatever we get from that clock, whatever we get from that room, is gonna be our next hint for whatever we do after that, because I have no idea. But I hope BB stays put. Probably not, as I grab the controller. Oh, he good. He doesn't like it too much, though. <laughs> what a cutie. And we are gonna go play some more Tormented Souls. Um, I am in the examination room, so let me just head out. I hope I remember the controls of this game. It's been a good week. Oh god! Bye. If only he could follow me. He might move on though. Maybe if I go back now, he's not there anymore. That works! Okay, so if he shows up, just take whatever first door I can find and then... Then we're good. Oh, he's here again. Hopefully he's on the other side. Behind me, I mean. Not on the... Oh, did he come up the stairs just now? Oh, he did! You can't follow me! Okay. So, this is the hint that I kind of just glanced over. The Day of Salvation. So, what is that again? December 25th, I think. Christianity stuff I'm bad with. So, this is the second hand. So, that's like 25. Let's look at the other ones. So that's like eight. And then there was one here, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh, that's three. Okay, so 8.15. So it's 8.15, 25 seconds. Okay. I can do it. Uh, and we're gonna say 25th, I think it is. Uh, what did I just say? A15? And then... 25. Yeah! Got it! Ornamental eye made of jade. Oh! Oh shit, where was that? Uh, god. There was a room that had a bust in it that needed eyes. That had like one jade eye. God. Was it upstairs? Maybe the office? Maybe? Let's hope he's gone here. It sounds... okay? I do hear some rustling though. No, I think we're good. Oh, that sounded heavy. Yeah, I was here! Oh my god! I guessed! Have an eyeball, sir. Boonk. No? Yes. Oh. Oh. What that? What is this? Oh, the record player fucking tune. Uh, okay. Uh, where was that? Was it the... Oh, it was right here. How do I... Mm -hmm. 
Okay. know what the rest was. Let me listen again. Oh, so it's all the same tunes. Okay. The same three notes. It already counted. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Secret doorway, huh? Aqua blue. What's that? Pumping room. Pump it up! Pump it. Pump it. I thought those were eyes. Oh, you can't see it. There. Those dots in the back. I thought those were eyes. Where am I? Wait, where actually am I? I went down a stairwell in the office. Oh. I have no idea. Thanks to the stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but grandfather and the suited men found me again. This time they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. He told me that I wouldn't be able to escape, no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily, he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. Oh, nice. I found what appeared to be the bedroom. A bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, and even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. The smell was so terrible, it reminded me of the suited man who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. What? The television that offers only local channels is the only thing that has kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. Seven years? In the sewers? Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning sensation. With each passing day, my appetite diminishes while the vomiting only gets worse. Something is taking me over. Something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clanging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I'm still unable to sleep with those noises ringing out. Whoa. Oh, that's the same. Okay. So she was here for seven years? Okay, good. So what are these? Oh. Ah! Oh, 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 I didn't see him there. He was just hanging out. Do I have anything? I have three of these. Okay. And then, um, I switch to this one and shoot the shit out of him. Nice. Okay, reload with that. Good. I should reload my other shit. Uh, that's reloaded. This one. That worked. Okay. And that is nothing. Is this anything? No. <sighs> okay, let's have a look. What that? I finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book and from the hand of the creator. Right now I stand inside the sacred temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I will de dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Pollux sect. Together we will bring back our savior so he may return light to this wicked world. Wait, who wrote that? Oh, Bertrand. Wildberger. Hmm. 
It got really quiet. An ID card. Oh, Bertram's. Director. Why do I need an ID card? Well, it's obviously important. Oh! I think I know. Um, that disc floppy reader thing. The bottom of the stairs. That must be it. This opens from the other side, huh? I don't have a map for this area. Hmm. Okay, cool. So I got that. But there was still the... The other thing I need to get for that lock is this. I need to find something to put in here. And I can freeze it in the freezer, I think. But what goes in it? Rust spray. Nothing I have. No liquids. Hmm. Yeah, I have zero liquids. Unless there was a place that had running water. Oh god. I'm trying to remember, but... I'm not so sure. Oh, what's this? Something could fit this slot. Huh. Well, nothing I have. Oh god, is he here? Oh god, he's here! Go, 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 go! Uh, keep going. Maybe there's running water in the past. There was one, um, mirror we went through. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was, like, stinky sewer water running through in the background. That might be an option? That is running water, and I need a liquid. So I could try that. Uh, I just need to remember how to get there. I think it was through here. Isn't this running water? Wouldn't I be able to use this to fill it? Maybe it's not droopy enough. Yeah, I can't... Oh, I, can't, I need to combine it with something, actually. Oh, so I need to pick up an item somewhere. Maybe? But then what? What could it be? Oh, I read the wrong way. Gonna check if the ID works. Oh, where'd you come from? Nice. That went well. I guess using the height difference works. This thing. This. Use it here. Yeah! Okay, now it's just this center thing. And I have no fucking idea. So I need to just find an item somewhere that I can combine it with. Or no, actually not. 
That might be a thing of like, I find something, I examine it, and then it opens my inventory for me. Oh, I didn't end up checking the restroom. Let me check that. Entrails all over the floor. That doesn't matter. Wait, this isn't the restroom, is it? It is. Wait, you call this a restroom, but they're like, oh, like an actual rest room. A room to rest in. There's no actual toilet. <laughs> barbecue sauce. Use that. Use that. There's barbecue sauce on the table. So I was talking with John about this game, and he said that he complete his hint for me was don't overthink it, because apparently he was making it way too complicated, and it didn't need to be that complicated. So. The thing that I came up with when I was looking at it in between episodes, so I haven't looked this up, I could be completely wrong. But the thing that I thought it might be is either you overlap them, but what actually might work better is if it's two because two lines are intersecting it, and then the other one is three because three lines are coming together in it. That was my idea. So now I need to look at the uh, the documents in my inventory, isn't it? This one. So in if that's the case, how many lines are going through it, then this would be zero. This would be one, two, three, four. One and one, two, three, four again. So zero. Four one four. Let's try that. Oh, that's actually it. Oh, thank God I figured something out by myself. That's nice. Hey, I want that. Thank you. Cool. Okay. I'm happy with that. Brain isn't always stink. Sometimes brain work. Okay, now the next thing I did look up, because uh, I was looking into what the next step was to do, and apparently we used a coin here. Up. Okay. One, one, okay. Easy. And that one, and then that one, and then that one. Yeah! And this is the fluid I need. Thank god I got it. Okay, combine that baby with this one. Box with a medallion shaped mold filled with blood. Uh, now we have to go to the past again. Because we're gonna freeze it. <sighs> so I kind of reverse, <laughs> went, went reverse through the walkthrough, was just like looking at the mold, what I need for the mold, and then I f saw that it was a blood bag. And then I looked up where I could get the blood bag, and then it mentioned the cash register, and I was like, oh fuck, I completely forgot that thing existed. And here we are. Okay, so... Now we're gonna put this in the freezer. Hopefully, that works. That has to be it. Oh, wait. I need to open it first. You go in there. Okay. Now I don't have it, right? I wonder how quickly something like that would defrost. Like, how long would it take for it to melt? Once out of the freezer. Because wouldn't it be a thing then, like, we put all the stuff in, 
and then we go through. But if that thing defrosts, then in a couple hours we won't be able to come back through that door because it would auto lock again, wouldn't it? Scary. Maybe it's like a point of no return. Which would make sense because I feel like I've seen everywhere now in this house. So maybe it's time for a new area. Aha! There we are! What a beaut. We did it. Let's go put that in. Boom. Yes! Obsession. Achievement unlocked. Where does it go? Stairs! Wow. Oh wow, it's stairs! A tricycle. That doesn't make sense. There's stairs here. You can't you can't run your Oh, this opens. Fuck. Decrepit what? Oh, safe room. Oh, yes. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. We should definitely save. I have six. Ha 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 ha. Let's go back over one. Yes. Nice. Whenever she doesn't, like, talk about what happened, I feel like I haven't made enough progress. Bullying. Well, nails, actually. Oh god, I'm hearing something. Nope. Mausoleum. Fire? Very good. Nice and warm. Mm. Why is this so creepy? I also don't have a map of this. Fuck. Oh, feet. Ah! <laughs> They're going away. Got anything? Oh, all the feet are going away. Wait, there's a f there's flowers in there. I don't want to be here. There's too many. Why are there so many chairs here? Are you gonna go too? Ah! Oh, there you go. Oh God. Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Big boy's back. Okay. Good. I like that strat. It works. There you go. Go! Shoot! Go away! Yeah, get in there. You better hide. Nice. Okay, what do we got? Podium. Someone must have preached from here. Creepy. Well, I am not ready to go down that hellhole yet, so I'm gonna just go back and check the other way. Oh, I didn't even check this way. Oh. Heh <laughs> Oh, what was that? It sounded like something heavy shifted. I'm gonna go check out the creepy... It's probably a wheelchair dude. Oh, or not. Go, 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 go! Oh, yes. Back up! Go, go, go! Ah! Ah! Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button! Run, run, run! Okay. Ugh, pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, fuck you. Now why does it say stop here? Am I not allowed to go further? This, uh, these are very conflicted images. 
I should not have entered here. Why not? Golden door. Iron door. I'm preparing to start a new adventure. I wish only to find what every ambitious man looks for to escape poverty. Okay. Copper door. Filled with embers. Can you light it? Not really. Water. Empty. Earth. Oh, I don't trust this room. Wooden door. That's where I came from. <gasps> no! Shit! Oh, shit. Try the embers? Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh! My skirt freaked out. <laughs> Look! You can see my underwear! <laughs> Is it because she gets gets whooshed across? Yeah! <laughs> my skirt's freaking out. Fallen- Oh! It's a different hit now. I've fallen into the sea and never- learn to swim. I'm three feet under the water. My only wish is to have that which we've had for all our lives. For now, its absence will kill me. Air? So the empty one? I was rescued by a crew of sailors, but we are lost. I long to follow the light of the stars in the Ursa Minor constellation of the... in the night sky. Follow the light of the stars. Maybe embers? Oh, there's two... Two of these are lit now. So maybe if I do it right... Another all off. So that was wrong. I wish only to find what every ambitious man looks for to escape poverty. Land? You want your own land? Is that it? Yeah, that is it. Okay, and then it's air. Okay. So... I long to follow the light of the stars. And it's not ember. Oh! The northern light? Ursa Minor. Oh, Ursa Minor might be a direction. But I don't know which one that is. Okay, it was water. Okay. Furious storms sank the boat. We will soon be fully underwater. In these desperate moments, I focus only on finding something that will keep me afloat. Wood? Okay, I think that was right. I'm floating alone adrift in the open sea. I gaze at the horizon, hoping to catch a glimpse of seagulls flying in the sky. Gaze at the horizon. Okay. You gaze at the horizon. Seagulls. Seagulls are in the air. Maybe? Nope. That was wrong. Okay. Okay, so, god. Earth, air, North. Okay, and then the wood. Okay, now this one we got wrong. I gaze at the horizon. Open sea, hoping to catch a glimpse of seagulls flying in the sky. So I tried air. Because seagulls means land, doesn't it? That might be it, yeah. I awoke on a deserted island. The night draws close, but there is something I must do before darkness falls and the cold pierces my bones. You should make fire. 
Days have passed and see and I see no sign of boats on the horizon. I will die here. I am sure of that. Before I close my eyes forever, I wish to look towards the setting sun on the horizon once more. While well, the sun sets in the west. Wait. Why is this... I only just realized this is not a W. North, east, south. Circle. Loop. I did it. What's that? There are big boys there. Oh god. Big boys. Two big boys. Okay, maybe the other one doesn't notice? Is it empty? <gasps> I'm completely out? Shit. Okay. Low on weapons. Low on bullets, I mean. Oh, that killed him. This is empty now, too. I only have this left. Oh my god. I need to find shit. Quick. I can hear another one. Oh, it's one of those. For you, I have this. What the fuck are you guys guarding? Okay. Um, was there another door here? Oh no, that's nothing. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna go then. Bunker 3B. What's that? Oh, I thought I saw shells. Oh, it's just a green of the bottom side of the wall. I think I need to start... Ooh, what's that? Syringe with a blue liquid. Where did it go? Oh, there. Nothing? Hmm. Don't give me those sounds. Ugh. The Tismet was an aboriginal tribe discovered in the late 15th century on the island west of Canada. They engaged mainly in fishing. It is particularly striking that, unlike other ab ab aboriginal tribes of the time, the Tismud carried out sacrificial rituals similar to those of the Mayans or Aztecs. According to the first explorer sent by John Cabo, the locals sacrificed two brothers, twins, to offer their blood to the underground god, who, according to legend, would be reborn and bring duality back to the world. Wait, have you read this? Maybe? Um, yeah, I think I have actually read that. Give me items, please. Wait, is this a dead end? The twins are eight years old. They run around the place and the patients and hospital staff pamper them excessively. Our members are getting restless. They believe it is time to use the girls for the sacrifice. Until now, I've been able to ease them by suggesting a date for the ritual. Today, Anna and Emma gave me a pair of slippers they made. It appears Anna made one and Emma the other. That would explain why they are different sizes, but they are comfortable nonetheless. The date of the sacrifice draws near. I cannot sleep. 
Wait, is that it? I got a syringe. But I don't know what to do with it. I can only examine and combine it. So I got a thing that the game didn't want me to get, right? Maybe I should save. I have so many save uh, reels anyway. Wait, which one? Yeah, this one. That's today. Nice, thank you. Awesome. That was pretty good. I really wish I had a map. Hope I didn't miss it somewhere. I like maps. I do. Okay, so I went here. Oh yeah, there was a corridor I noped out of. This one right here. Oh, hey, Jesus. Okay, we have a door. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh, big boy. Well, let's see how if this works. Yep, it does. Nice. Three charges killed it. How many do I have? Only three more. Okay, I have six total. I would really like... Oh god, there's another one. What? Do you want something? Did I find two? Ah! Hi. I think he's dead. And I am out again. Right. Okay. I'm just barely getting by, aren't I? Jesus. Found bullets, immediately used them. I wonder if the game developer didn't expect you to fight everything. Carving reeds. The beautiful archangel subtly lifted his fingers. A golden shine from his ring almost blinded me, and suddenly the gates of hell were wide open only for me. So maybe that statue needs a ring? A big tomb. There's a sculpture of a young woman holding kadupo flowers. The stench of the corpses blends with the aroma of the flowers. Okay, two ways we can go. Oh, no. This is where I came from. Oh, right. This is another passage. Well, let's have a look over here. Oh. Oh! We looped. Okay. Um, that means that now I need to go to that one door. Oh, so tense. Okay. This door. Hidden meeting chamber. 
What's that? Oh, thank you. Nice. For years I cursed my destiny. I always thought my birthright had been stolen from me when my twin brother didn't survive labor. I hated my mother. I hated the doctors. I hated myself the most. We were supposed to tribute our sacred blood to the gods. The sect won't sacrifice a single child. They require twin brothers or our god will be unable to grow. Now I understand. My role in our god's rebirth is not to give my blood, but to lead the Pollux sect into its sacred de destiny. Noah. Some sort of heart is placed on a cross. It doesn't look like a painting. Is it a photograph? Hmm. Nothing else? Doesn't look it. So we need a ring? I do not have a ring. Beautiful art. Lifted his finger. Golden shine from his ring almost blinded me. I didn't need a ring. I thought I had to put a ring on the finger. Because the ring was blinding, but it's just... I just had to lift the finger. Okay. Let's have a look. Sewers. Isn't this where the... the girl survived for seven years? That sounds heavy. Another big dude. He's somewhere. Who could perform a medical procedure in a place like this? Huh! Jesus. He didn't see me? Well, I see you, dude. I got found new charge. I like that. Members of the sect are getting restless. We have fewer twin babies to offer, and our attempts to force their conception and test subjects have wholly failed. We have only managed to get defective specimens, Siamese fetuses that are so misshapen that they are incapable of surviving long after a cesarean section. If this continues, I will lose my position as high priest of the Pollux sect. I'm afraid that without my leadership, the other members will grow bolder. This might raise suspicion about our cult. Huh. Babies. Okay. Oh god, we're going deeper into the sewers? Oh god, I hear another one. Sometimes I dream at night. In my dreams, the wind dances with the smell of flowers and caresses my face. The afternoon sun paints the clouds behind the mountains in sepia and li lilac tones. My heart fills with joy. I'm standing on a beautiful balcony full of plants and flowers, all of them full of life. I go back inside the room and see the wall covered with gorgeous green wallpaper. The place smells wonderfully of lavender. There's a big mirror in front of me. I go to it slowly, unable to resist the curiosity and my reflection appears on the glass. That's me, but not exactly. The person in the reflection has clean and treated hair. Her smooth skin glows with a slight tan, her lips as red as ripe fruit. I admire her for a few moments with nothing but envy, and suddenly my chest tightens. Rage poisons my blood and my eyes turn red, and giving in to the murder instinct, I hurl myself to the neck of that person, that person so similar to me but whose confused eyes betray her as an imposter. I feel the pressure of the blood on her car- car- I don't know how to say that- carotid artery? Through my fingers. Her mouth tries to articulate a word, but I push even harder. I'm afraid of what she might say, so I push some more. I wake up in the dark, soaking in sweat. 
The sound of sewer water and the air currents make me realize that I'm in my room. But the lavender smell carries on, floating a few moments until it escapes completely through the bars. Huh. Should I check that door first? Oh, I unlocked it. <gasps> oh, I'm here. Oh my god. It all connects. That's cool. Where's the dude that I'm hearing? Oh! Right there. Okay. I think I'm on my last couple... Yep. Last three charges. God, I thought I... You know, if only I hadn't wasted all of those nails on that inv invincible dude. I think I could have gotten to that file. Let's have a look. Weapons or ammo, I mean. Oh, can't go into water. Really nothing? Oh. Another ooh, what's that? Hmm, it's just out of reach. What's that do? Oh! Strained so much further than I thought. Okay. Um, let me just check here. Yes. A young child's diary. Doodles drawn in blood. Oh. So now I can go here. Rotten corpses scattered all over. They were submerged under the water this whole time. Oh, fuck. I don't want to be here. Old television dial. TV? What is this? Could place something in front of the scanner. Oh, my face? Oh, there's two. Wait, how the fuck am I gonna pull that off? Find a skull? Or a person? Okay, looks like that's it for now. Very curious. I legit have to try and run, I think. If there are any more enemies. Try and save up bullets again. Or ammo, in general. Oh, ha -ha, hallelujah! Six! Oh my god, yes! Thank god. Okay. Is that a door? Well, let's have a look. Sewer storage room. <gasps> Safe room! Oh. Grandfather Noah came to my prison with a revolver in his hand. When I turned to him, he stepped back but kept the gun level. You're alive, he said, surprised. After all these years, you're alive. I was stunned. It was him. Really him. 
The man who had imprisoned me and left me forgotten all these years. I wanted to throw myself at him, but he had the gun pointed at me. And I knew better than anyone that terrible physical condition my imprisonment had put me in. This is very fortunate. A sign of God, he continued. I will finally have the Wildburger twins together. Once Anna arrives, I will finally open the vault and gain access to the temple. Just a little longer, my child. Just a little longer. After that, he walked out without turning back. I followed him to the exit, but as expected, he locked it. This is the last thing I'll write. I have been a prisoner down here all these years, but if he thinks he has control over my destiny, he's wrong. To open the temple entrance, he needs a set of twins to offer themselves to retina skinners. Oh. He needs the two of us, Emma and me. He will not use my eyes. I will stop him. The blade is red hot. I have to do this. Emma, if you read this, do all you can to survive. Live a normal life. Forget about me. And if you see father, do not tell him that I was locked down here all these years. What I'm worried... What I'm about to do to myself, I will not want him to see me like that. Let this be my last decision. The final decision I made for myself. And then 28436 for the vault. I think we've seen a vault. Was it maybe in the office? Hmm. Definitely gotta save. Okay. Emma, don't come to the vault. Save yourself from hell. Oh. That body. Oh, this is the vault. Someone was living here. Um. Okay. I just took a picture. Let's have a look. Two, eight, four, three, six. Oh, broken. I can't move it. We need a dial? Okay, I need a safe dial. I don't have it. Okay. Uh, maybe it's in here, though. Let's go through. What? Is this my room? <gasps> but this is hundreds of miles away from the mansion. The dream. How can this be possible? The dream where she saw you through a mirror and was really mad at you. It happened again last night. I had that nightmare. The one where I fall into the void, squeeze my eyes tight, and an icy cold hits my back. When I finally open my eyes, I see dirty water running through stone channels and pipes leading down endless tunnels with arched ceilings. So you switch places. She looks through your eyes and you look through her eyes in the sewers. I see shadowy human silhouettes and misshapen heads projected onto moldy walls. A man in a radioactive suit grabs my arm and with a guttural roar yells, let the ritual begin. I wake up drenched in a fetid sweat, take the sheets off my body and put my feet on the floor only to discover that it too is wet. I turn on the lamp to find a room not my own. The wall's dirty and the window that faces the street now the mouth of a dark tunnel where sewage flows. I get up, numb. A stream of putrid cold air hits me and when I look at my reflection in the mirror, I see myself but dressed in rags. My hair dirty and matted, confused and scared. It is me, or so it seems, but there's something in her eyes that I do not recognize. The person on the other side of the mirror stretches out her arms and grabs me by the neck. You left us here! I wake up back in my room. The light from the street lamps enters through the window, silhouetting the leaves of the plants. I slowly remove my hands from my neck and the TV turns on. I pinch myself to make sure that this time I'm awake. The dial turns to the right and at times to the left. The TV showing seemingly random images, but always the same. Hmm. Creepy. So they still had a connection. So, turns to the right, and then to the left. Huh. Hmm. Okay. That's something we can do. 
bright day outside. I really want to break that big mirror behind me and escape through the window, but I can't. Something that just won't let me. Closet. Can't leave until I learn more about the girls from the photo. Okay. So I have a TV with creepy images. And it says it turns to the right. I wonder if something happens if I wait. And it times to the left. I don't know what these images mean yet. I don't know what I need to do with it. And I don't have a sewer dial. I don't have a map for that matter. God, I really wish I had a map. So she's been here this whole time. Oh, okay. I had to even look up an explanation. So I had the right idea. 28436 has something to do with this TV, but it's the images themselves. So like eight legs on the spider, tricycle three, yang yang two dots. Okay, so what was it again? Two, two eight four three six. So two, eight, four, four. Three and a six sided die. Ah. Oh, cool. Oh! Not so cool. Necklace with a sun design. Ugh. Okay. I was stuck on that for a while. Holy shit. Okay. Um, and that means this is now open too. Nice. So I guess we both had a half of a necklace. Where's the other? Oh, there. Awesome. And we have seen that before. Holy shit. Okay. Now where the fuck did that connect? Oh my god. We need to go through that one specific door where I was like, Oh, this leads here. Oh my god! Was it this one? Oh, actually, maybe it was. Yeah! Oh shit, that sounds like- Oh, yep, that sounds like that, dude. Not today, boy! Okay. Now, where did we come from? This, oh, this leads to the office, doesn't it? All right. Okay, so if this is the office, that means... We can go to the bedroom through here. Children's room. This is where we just saw it today. Yeah. This room is a lot bigger than it actually than we actually thought. Remembrance. Are you gonna rem remember this room or a tune? Is that why he stole an eyeball? 
or he, oh, why someone my stole my ball? What is this? I know this song. I know it. It's the song my sister and I used to listen to when we were children. My sister. My sister Anna. I remember. Finally. I am Emma, the girl who fell from the bridge 14 years ago. All this time, I've kept the traumatic memories hidden inside my head. But this song has set them free. Anna, you have been alone in the dark this whole time. Different game. I don't know if you are still there, but I promise I will do everything in my power to find you. It's time to find out what's behind the vault door in the sewers. Do you think that's why they... Why someone stole an eyeball from her to open that door? Like put both of her eyes on one side? I mean, that could work. Right? Spend a lot of time playing with the dollhouse. Oh, a diary. Mother told us to stay away, but we didn't listen. We decided to investigate the forest next to the main garden. We were curious, but when we heard the hitting and screaming sounds, I got scared and asked Emma to back go back to the house. She insisted on seeing where the noises were coming from. She went ahead and I followed. Within a glade, we discovered three men in full body outfits. They stood over under huge rocks carved with symbols and were using hammers to hit a large red stained bag, which seemed to writhe. Writhe? One of them poured some liquid over the bag and they set it on fire. The bag started to move with some more force. I got scared and snapped the twig I was holding. The man looked in our direction and pointed towards us. I took Emma by the wrist and ran. We broke through thorny bushes, all the time listening to the men's fading shouts. Finally, we made it to the mansion, but the pretty dresses mother had made were ruined. Oh! That's why- that's what your mom got so angry at. Huh. Cover her face, preventing us from crying out. We were left almost unable to breathe. They took us somewhere underground and put strange cross-shaped metal beds. Our hands and feet were tied. All of them covered by the same material and holding giant hammers. In the center of the room was Grandfather washing everything. He was not wearing a suit. His bare stare terrified me. My dear granddaughters, he said, it is time for you to finally fulfill your destiny. Emma couldn't stop crying. She begged him to let us go, but he moved over to the door and ordered the suited men to get ready for the ritual. Everyone left the room except for one suited man. He walked crooked and slower than the rest. He smelled worse too. The smell of sewage came to us with a small tray of tiny metal vessels. They were filled with liquids and their aromatic oils. He began unbuttoning my blouse when Mother suddenly entered the room and hit him with a metal bar. He fell to the floor. He rushed over to free us, but the suited man got up quickly and raised a dagger behind Mother's back. I wanted to scream out to her, but I could barely move. Right at that moment, a shot put him down. Another man, also wearing a suit, had shot him from the entrance of the room. He came towards us with his hands raised and took off the part of the suit covering his head. It was our other grandfather, Bertram. He worriedly asked Mother what she was doing down here without a suit. She said that she had come to save us. Grandfather told her to take us to the surface and to get to the town port, where someone would be waiting for us in a small fishing boat. Aha. Okay. And then they fled. She was having trouble breathing, huge blisters. So she went somewhere where it was massively, like, radiation. Radiation was everywhere. And the twins were fine, but the mom couldn't handle it. Then they crossed a bridge. And then the mom and the sister got captured again. Well, one of the planks broke and my sister screamed and fell over. And then I fell off. Caught her by the arm, but it wasn't strong enough. She fell. The man grabbed us and took us to Grandfather Noah. Um, since my sister died, I was of no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. Right. And that, we've seen the entrance now. And then she's locked in the cell. I see. Then I come in the videotape, and I talk to her, and I put acid on the lock. She escapes. Hides in the sewers, find that, finds that bedroom. Then Noah finds her again all these years later. And then she, she takes out her eyes. 
Oh. Maybe I'm missing an eye because um, they put one of the eyeballs in my sister's head. So that we both still have one eye. Maybe that's it. The story's all coming together now. Uh, but what am I gonna do? Wait, what did I actually get from the vault? Oh, the vault was the... The secret room with my memories. A fishing hook? Where? Oh! Okay, I missed a key item here. Got it. You can so easily miss items like that. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Wait, where did that go? <gasps> a new tape. Wait, this was already here, right? Yeah. Ooh, new tape! So we have to go back to the meeting room? Eject this one. I'll take that. Is it this one? Dentist room. Oh, God. I guess I should have a look. I, uh, let me see how far I am. Four hours in, there's like one hour-ish left into the game. So for me, that's probably an hour and a half with puzzles and stuff. I think this is a good point to cut it then. Oh, he's here again? Where is he? Well, not here. God, he is on my ass. Okay. Nice. It's nice that I have a lot of the save slots things. It's nice. I found a little room in the sewers. I can't help but feel that this is the place I've seen in my darkest nightmares. You guys are connected. The stench, the cold. The dirt, the wet, it all resembles the horrible nightmares I've been having lately. The mirror in this room takes me to my actual room, miles away from the hospital. I looked out the big window in my room and had to gather all my willpower not to shatter the mirror behind me, open the window and jump out into the yard. Something inside me knows that this is where I should be. I have to help those girls. One of them is in the sewers. Those girls, but you I know you're one of them. A way to help them. I think your sister has your other eye. Honestly. Uh, they probably forced it into her. Well, at least that would be cool. If that's what they did. Ah, that was a struggle. Some of these puzzles... Like, either I'm, like, completely not getting it, or I'm just way overthinking it. At least I got the cash register puzzle so I got that in my book oh and I did the the direction and the water air puzzle so I'd say it's like half and half some of them I'm like about half of them like I have no idea what you want from me and then the other half is like oh I kind of see what you're trying to get at with the puzzles oh hi B. <laughs> he's so cute he just like stretched out <laughs> you cozy? So cute. <laughs> um, I think one more episode should do it. I think we're like, the story's coming together now. Um, I have like a, a guide open and like a video one and it's about another hour. I think what is about an hour in that video is like an hour and a half for me, hour 45, because I get stuck at all the puzzles. So I think it's another good, at least hour length episode 
hour and a half probably left in the game. So we're going to take our time and do that in another part. And then uh, this game is done. Very, very cool so far. But yeah, the puzzles are definitely kicking my butt. Thanks for leaving the comments, by the way, in part two with the number door. Uh, people were saying the eight was on its side. Uh, it was actually, it looked like an eight, but it was actually on its side because the other numbers were on their side. And it was an infinity symbol and that's why it's a circle. I was like, oh, that makes sense. So mystery solved. Thank you so much for all the help. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you guys liked it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys soon with part five. <laughs>